Just a heads up, this channel now has a Patreon. Check out the link in the description to help us out and get cool stuff. Hello everyone and welcome to Veggie Talks, the show where I take a look at all things VeggieTales, except that it's not actually VeggieTales, it's 3 to one Penguins. And not even really 3 to one Penguins, it's the TV version that aired on Cubo. Great. So now nothing in the title is correct. You guys have asked for it for a long time, so now let's talk about these things. So, a brief history on my experience with 3 to 1 Penguins. I grew up with it, just like a lot of you guys did. Loved it at the time, don't really care for it now because it was definitely not supposed to be a Christian show in the way that VeggieTales was. VeggieTales was supposed to be a ministry first and then a show. Now, 3 to 1 Penguins was to make money first, then be a show, and then somewhere along the line you can tell a message, maybe if there's time. Which, eh, more often than not, there really wasn't time, so they had to shove it in last minute in episodes like The Doom Funnel Rescue, or Trouble on Planet Wait Your Turn, things that supposedly revolved around a lesson but didn't really teach it very well. Not only was the teaching method that they used very ineffective, being just shoving it in randomly and at the very end with very little focus, but trying to be more of just a regular secular show than actually doing the Sunday morning values and Saturday morning fun that Big Idea inspired to be. So all of these things would make it perfect for a TV adaptation, right? You'd be wrong. In the late 2000s, VeggieTales aired on Cubo. More on that another day. But another thing that happened was 321 Penguins was picked up for its own show. Because, well, 321 Penguins didn't have very many episodes, so it couldn't really air them on a syndicated package because you could only air about six of them. And it was never really given the chance to shine, or a happy song to sing for that matter. So, why not give it another chance? Well, yeah, that's kind of where the problems began. First of all, 321 Penguins had lost what little popularity it had already. It was way too past the time for this to happen. If it was gonna happen, it should have happened earlier, which it couldn't have happened back then. People either forgot or just didn't care about 321 Penguins at the time. Second, Big Idea had little to no involvement with this. The very history of 321 Penguins itself is already shadowed in mystery, so imagine what it's like when a corporation is attached to it. Very little information on the production of the Cubo episodes can be found. All that's known though is that Big Idea didn't really have much of a say in anything. And third, it was on Cubo. Cubo was never really very successful. I mean, it did okay sometimes, but if you're gonna put it on Saturday mornings, Cubo was not the good spot. I, I know, they had that deal with VeggieTales, and VeggieTales was on Cubo, but that was a mistake too. It would have been better to just either wait a little bit and find some other higher bidder, or maybe wait even longer and then put it on Netflix, which was starting to become a thing at the time. Albeit, not really for a streaming service, but a DVD service. But, hey, I'm not gonna fault them for not knowing about changing technology. So how's the show itself? Well, you know how I said 3 one Penguins could sometimes be funny, but the lessons were terrible? and that the animation was pretty good. The voice acting was actually really good back in my old review. Well, take everything that worked and then half it. The voice acting is completely different. All new actors. They do okay jobs, although they're not nearly as charismatic or exciting as the old ones. The animation, while technically better, still doesn't really have its own style. While the old one was certainly a little bit rougher as it was considerably older, it had its own style to it and it had its own little flair. This just kind of seems like a generic little kid show set in space with talking flightless birds. Then of course there's the comedy. So as I said in the past, for every joke that 321 Penguins has that works, there's one that doesn't. Well, I don't remember laughing a single time at this one. Big Idea was always hoping that their writing could encompass both kids and adults, with jokes that both of them would find funny. And yes, this was still prevalent in the original six episodes of 3 to 1 Penguins. But here, they very clearly missed the point of Big Idea's writing style. The point of Big Idea's writing style is to capture both kids and adults, that way the kids will like it, and when they like it, they will attach more to the lessons and want to see it more. And then the parents will like it, so that way they'll be more inclined to buy it, and sit down and watch it with their kids. Because let's face it, when you're a parent, or even just an older sibling, often you're going to have to watch these little kids' shows with your younger sibling or child. 
And let's face it, with some of the garbage out there, it can be pretty rough. So that's what Phil and Mike decided to do with their shows, specifically VeggieTales. But 3 to one Penguins of the Cartoon Adventures of Larry Boy came after, but and followed the same thing. Let the adults watch it so that they won't be miserable and they'll be more inclined to support it. But very clearly this was not the case here. I mean, to be fair, what adult's gonna wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning to watch Cubo for, like, three hours? The writing is very sterile, and it's kind of reminding me of what Spongebob went through. How the original writing was very snappy and very exciting, and then the later seasons really took notice of it and tried to recapture it, but also kinda put in half of the effort. So it comes across as like a bad fan script of it. And of course there's the concepts of the whole thing. 3 to one Penguins, I'll give it this, was very creative in a lot of the ways that it would try to take you to different worlds and sometimes teach the lessons. Although the lessons weren't taught very well and often seemed like an afterthought, they were blended into the world pretty well. For example, the cheating skills of Bolomanka. I still to this day say that that concept is brilliant. However, here, it's very clearly all just the same thing. They go to a world that has basically nothing to do with the lesson, and they just so happen to have a lesson there, or it just tries to beat you over the head with it. Oh, yeah, that's fun. The environments and all the creativity, again, just feels like they're trying to replicate the old stuff and just failing miserably. But there's, if there's one thing that they can capture perfectly from the original 3 2 Penguins, it's the lesson teaching. It's just as hollow, just as shallow, and just as meaningless as the last one. The original already had a lot of issues with barely going into any depth, but imagine if you're not even allowed to talk about God in the whole thing. I'm sure they slip a couple mentions here and there, but Cubo is largely secular, so they wouldn't let a lot of that fly. No pun intended. So yeah, right away, Big Idea's big mission statement has to be largely thrown out the window in order to make some tiny little bit of money. And yeah, that didn't really work, but more on that later. Even with the parts that they did teach the lesson well in the original had at least some passion put into it. This is just very clearly network notes. The original had lessons, let's put that in there. Kids need to learn lessons, alright, let's just, let's see if we can put that in here. And the lessons are all pathetic. To be fair, there's some episodes like Compassion Crashing or Wise Guys that have some decent lessons. But then there's episodes like Comedy of Errors, which tells the same kind of repetitive lesson that everything teaches. Don't make fun of people. Because it's bad, and that's it. If you thought Hey Arnold was shallow in its lesson when it taught that, imagine that but cut into little tiny pieces and then just throw another window, because they don't even really care. But the dumbest one that I could find was the episode Wiki Tiki, which is essentially the lesson of do your research and take things slow. I couldn't really figure out the lesson. I guess this is the Doom Funnel Rescue of the show. That's the thing. It sucks at lesson teaching, and it sucks at writing, and it just can't capture anything from the original. Why bother going to this version when the original, albeit flawed, was definitely better than this? This has nothing on the old one. And this isn't just nostalgia talking, because like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the original either. But the worst part is that it completely fails in both ways you look at it. If Big Idea had nothing to do with this, then it's just sad and pathetic because it's a bunch of corporate suits thinking that they get it and knowing how to capture the youth's attention, dog, and they don't understand at all. But if Big Idea did have a big role in this, then that's bad because they completely ignored their mission statement of trying to be a ministry first. They were already pushing it with the original, but this is even worse. It's like they just completely sold out their morals in exchange for a couple bucks, which that didn't work. Albeit this was the second or first sometimes highest ranked show in Cubo, but Cubo never really pulled in very good numbers. Not really at all. It's telling that if their highest show was doing so poorly, then yeah, Cuba was doomed to fail. I mean, yeah, sure, this pulled in higher numbers than a lot of their other shows, but even so, this only lasted for two seasons, and the second season was extremely short. Successful shows don't do that unless they're from the 50s or 60s, which this wasn't. It was from the mid to late 2000s. 
really nothing about this show works. And if it was just a thing on its own without the original, it'd still be bad, but the fact that it has the original to compare to, it's even worse. So, by all accounts, this gets the Scallion Seal disapproval. Don't act too surprised, I think you knew that going in. But what were the VeggieTales ones like? How did Cubo treat VeggieTales? Because let's face it, they can't do original stuff to save their lives, so what about the original stuff? How, how is that different? Well, join me next time. Good night, everybody.